The things I remember the most about my dad leaving are the empty spaces he left behind. The faded patches of carpet on the floor where a couch or a table used to be. When he took the mattress off of the bed that he had shared with my mom for the past 17 years, I discovered a prized collection of lost treasures beneath its wooden frame. A dress sock, some loose change, a Paul Simon cassette, and an action figure that I'd swore I'd lost years ago. As I helped him box up his things, I could see that my dad was crying. He turned to me and said, Promise me you won't take sides. I promised. During the move, our cat Sophie had escaped through a back door that we'd left open. She'd never run away before. When I woke up the next morning and noticed everything that was gone, I couldn't help but feel as if we'd been robbed. Except whoever chose to do it decided to steal all the classic rock albums and leave the Bette Midler ones behind. As the weeks went by, we tried our best to put the missing pieces back together and pretend as if nothing had happened. An old ping pong table and some mismatched office furniture became our new dining room. A borrowed TV from our uncle on the floor of our living room became our new entertainment center. My mom refused to sleep in her old bedroom. Instead, she chose to sleep on an air mattress in the middle of the kitchen floor for the next 16 months. We never found our cat. A few weeks later, I was running late for school. At that point, I became so frustrated that I smashed my hand into a glass light fixture. I had split my right hand wide open and there was blood everywhere. That was the last thing I remember before I passed out. When I woke up, I was in the passenger seat of my mom's minivan, headed towards the hospital. I looked out the window and I saw my high school drift past me and I remember feeling so happy that now I didn't have to take that stupid math test that I was so worried about. As I leaned back and listened to the radio, I wondered how many stitches it would take for the doctors to sew my hand back together, and whether I'd ever be able to draw again. I wondered if we'd ever find our cat, or if my dad would ever remarry or not. What? I'd wonder what his new wife would look like. Would she be prettier than mom? Occasion. Would our old furniture match the wallpaper in his new house, or would it stick out as if it was never supposed to be there in the first place? The news chopper said that traffic would be light on the freeway today. But all I could think about was not having to take that math test. Hi, big boy. I couldn't help but laugh. Yeah, that tongue in the side of the mouth really helps. And we're, oh, God. Good job. Where's our sister? She over there having a drink? You don't want to, you don't want to ride a little bit, Sean, on your bike? Sean, is that Courtney's bike? You want to sit down and tell me all about yourself? Sean, why don't you sit down by the bike and tell me all about yourself? Sit down by the bike. And you can tell me all about yourself. Have you read any good books lately, Sean? What good book did you read? Uh, work for work. Which one, darling? Uh, work for work. Something rabbit? Something rabbit? Yeah. What's it about? What's it about? 